have a blessed day. So yeah, stay safe during COVID nineteen. Okay, always wear a mask even though if you're going to for a couple of hours or like even minutes. I guess you should wear a mask. I don't know why, but I'm super precautious during this COVID nineteen. Um, even though <laughs> just like yesterday, I went to take um to take the rubbish out to the dumpster, right? Um, even then, it's like it was only five minutes, but I still wear a mask because I don't know. I think like you should be precautious um, because this is a, a really serious thing, you know. You can die from it. So yeah, that's why I think even if you're like going out for a bit, even a minute or like an hour, even if it's not a crowded place or something, just wear a mask. Always um, hand sanitize or wash your hands. And when you get home, just uh, the first thing you need to do um, for me, I guess, um, you have to like wash your hands, take off your mask, um, like strip all of your clothes and put it on your laundry basket and go to the shower. I mean, like, yeah, even though it's just like I'm the only one doing this, but I don't know. You all should do this. I mean, it's not wrong to take extra precaution, right? It's not bad. I think, like, yeah, it might kind of seem like everything, right? See, yeah, this is like this is your life you're betting on. So, yeah, you should take the extra mask to protect yourself. I mean, like, it's better safe than sorry, right? So yeah, that's that. Okay, so in this video, I'm trying to draw angel cake or angel food cake. Um, to be honest, I don't know what the difference is between angel cake and angel food cake. Um, uh, I'm trying to think like, okay, maybe angel cake is like a plain version. And angel food cake is where you put whipped cream and fruits in it. So yeah, I'm just going to draw and hope for the best, I guess. Okay, what to talk about next? Um, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I watch a movie or like a series, I don't like sad or cringy thing you know whenever i encounter them i will always like okay i'm done i will like always like um close the tab of my netflix and then just stare or like scream into the pillow and then like cringe so hard <laughs> i don't know why but um uh, when there's a uh, like sad scene or cringe scene i always feel like i'm the one who experienced it you know so like i'm the one who's getting the second hand embarrassment from me or second hand heartbreak i guess yeah so like <laughs> it's so hard for me to watch a new movie or series because i don't like sad scene i don't like crazy scene so yeah i always like watching the same thing all over again <laughs> Sometimes it do get boring, but I don't know why, but I still keep watching it, you know. Whenever I open Netflix, I always tap on the same series, on the same thing I always watch. So yeah, um, there's a this series, um, How I Met Your Mother. I don't, I cannot even tell you guys how many times I already, like, uh, saw it from the A to Z, you know. I already, like, know the storyline. I already know what's gonna happen next. But I always keep on watching it. I don't know why. I mean, like, why? And then the another thing I like to watch is like Adventure Time, Breaking Bad, um, Better Call Saul. Yeah, it's something like that, you know. Something that like I already watched, but I keep on watching it. But recently, uh, I try to like watch cartoons from my past. I guess. Yeah, I try to like watching it back because like when i was a little i don't know what they're saying or something i didn't fully understand it so i want to understand it now i guess since i have nothing better to do so yeah um oh they are this series uh reply 1998 i saw it like not recently but um it's kind of like a couple of months back yeah, my friend introduced it, introduced me to it because like she knows that okay, I know you don't like sad and cringy stuff, but you also like kids stuff, right? So she's like, yeah, um, 
watch this. I mean, like in Reply 1998, of course there are like bad scene and cringy scene, you know. But <laughs> I just um, whenever I encounter those things, I always write message her and say, I cannot go on. This is too cringy. I'm so sad or something like that, you know. But she always like um be my cheerleader, you know. She say like, oh you can do it. Oh please just continue. It's going to be like so worth it in the end. And yes, she was right. It's so worth it. But um in reply 1998, yeah, I like it so much. I tried like to search another like series like that, but I cannot find it. Yeah, it's so like they capture the 90s so great in the video. You know? I feel like um in that in that series, um I really care about like the friendship, like the people. Yeah, I really care about them. I cannot even tell you guys like how many times I cry watching it because like the one that uh, touched me I guess is about the motherly scene you know yeah it's so like it's very touching but um, yeah I mean like, you cannot avoid cringy and sad stuff forever I guess but yeah I I think I uh, I need that kind of friend you know I need that kind of support when I was when I watching that kind of stuff so yeah it's kind of hard for me to watch many things I guess but yeah if you haven't watched Reply 1998 you should watch it it's like a Korean series about like 90s and like I think this is uh, yeah I'm pretty sure 90% sure this is a real event that happened yeah, actually I 100% sure because like one of the characters, yeah, I, I kind of google it and then see what what about them. But yeah, um, it's kind of sad but yeah, um, but in Reply 1998, they didn't put the real scene what happened in real life but it's kind of similar, you know. So yeah, if you haven't watched it, I totally recommend it. Reply 1998. Okay. Um, but there's also like a scene in Reply 1998 that I'm, I'm kinda, you know what, I'm not going to touch it. It's about marriage, but uh, I will hold love for marriage for now. I'm not going to touch it, I'm going to talk about it. 